you just study the earthquake, right? Right. Like this, it's, it's like a longitude wave, right? Mm -hmm. So how? So we 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 know that earthquake is longitude wave, and we know that the sun quake is a longitude wave, right? Right. So somewhere between, there has to be a, a longitude wave. We got longitude vibration at the sun. Okay, we have longitude wave in the space medium, and you got longitude wave at the Earth. <laughs> so when the sun vibrates, the Earth vibrates because the Earth is a receiver. But it's a receiver that pick up longitude wave. So that makes sense. Perfect sense. And and you think about it, um, but it doesn't look like antenna, right? Earth is like a sphere. Of sphere, spherical shape, and um, if you look at the sun, it's spherical shape. It doesn't look like an antenna, like the one on the roof, right? Right. So, if you think about it, if you look at all the Tesla stuff, mm -hmm. they're all spherical shape. Yeah. If you look at it, um, if you look at patterns and and how they he transmit uh, things wirelessly, you have a, a spherical ball. And, um, you know, his tower and, you know, all kinds of, he's one of the Tesla. I'm, I'm going to show some experiments um, at a conference. When you think about it that way, um, you know, one begins to wonder if something like an earthquake uh, here could cause... Uh, in some ways, a sunquake on the sun. It doesn't always have to be the sun transferring to Earth. I can't so, tell you how many times we've exactly. seen a major earthquake on this planet or a major volcano eruption, uh -huh. and within an hour or two later, there's a major solar eruption. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> if, if you watch every single day and you're paying uh -huh. attention to these things... It's very, very clear what's going on. Yes, it's synchronicity. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 depend. That's why you know it depends on what you look at as a cause or not. It's it's really it's all simultaneous. It's one system. Yeah, and and the only way, the only way I I explain this is through resonance system. It's like a standing wave. You have to. You have two nodes, right? In, you know, standing wave, you have uh, in the resonance system, there are nodes where it's a stable, mm -hmm. stable, stable point. Is that what we were looking at at the uh, with the Cladney plate? Yes. Okay. So I'm with you. So, or yeah, that's one. Yeah. Yes. The Cladney plates, if one's moved, the others will move. Mm -hmm. If the others move, the others will move, you know? Yeah. So depends on where you where you observe or what you observe and how you observe you see movement uh, in movement in synchronicity sometimes th the sun moves first the earth move sometimes the earth move first then the sun move and the and and the cause and effects kind of um, but there there are just the one that's on the trigger um, which is like a precursor. Mm -hmm. Typically, you can look at the sun as a precursor because um, uh, there are patterns where they both happen simultaneously, and the patterns where the Earths typically occur about you know three days afterward. Yeah. If you if you if you observe pattern closely, it's about three to four days afterwards, mm -hmm. which matches with solar wind. But it doesn't really matter which one is a cause or not. But um, if if our intention is to um, to detect earthquakes or de uh, forecast natural disaster or some kind, then we have to look at something as an indicator. And if you you have to sum all the indicator together, yeah, to 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 make a good prediction. Yeah. So the and typically, if you want to look at the sun as one of major indicator, you know you have you can also look at planets as indicator, mm -hmm. and 
and you let's say for example like uh you know nepal earthquakes the one that you you you, you gave warning right right So we've got that coronal hold down south, moderate power only, but enough for a minor quake watch. Also note the ones coming in in a few days on the equator and north of that in front of the giant filament. Right now the quake watch is enhanced, however, by multiple flare energies earlier this week and the planetary geometry. We have a geocentric conjunction of Mercury and Mars. By the way, we are just a few more days away from the primary heliocentric conjunction. This should be a big solar uptick. But back to this enhanced quake watch. United States gets the surprise prize of the day with both Idaho and California rocking way above normal magnitude. We also had a significant earthquake in New Zealand. And folks, I didn't mention this yesterday because I hadn't yet fully vetted any pre-eruption signals, but there are none. This was not a foreseen explosion and likely counts lumped in with those other underground events. How do you say uh, what is the cause? Because they all happen simultaneously. If you have one thing happen the other way, there's something else happen in the opposite direction. And yeah, yeah. Well, you know that that's the reason why uh, you know uh, that's the reason why we described it as an enhanced earthquake watch. I almost never do that. I did it once in 2013. And I think uh -huh. I did it twice in 2012. The second time I did it in 2012, I was completely yeah. wrong. But um, you know, it it, it was uh, you know, I, there was the coronal hole, the planets. Uh, there appeared to be a, a a sector boundary coming in the solar wind, and that change yeah. from from positive to negative or negative to positive is huge. And I, I, there were so many things I didn't even know which one to point to, and so I just said, "Look, this is going to be an enhanced earthquake watch." Yeah, that's uh, that's the way. That's the way uh, we have to do forecasts in the future because um, we cannot use one theory to explain everything, you know? Right. And every theory in, in science is, is a perception. Mm -hmm. and, and perception is just like you're looking in only one side of the big picture.